I'm not gonna watch shit like that. Like, you know. It's... No, no, and because he got mad at me one time because he came here to work out and Mike Tyson was like paid to watch him and like him and his brother spar or something like this. And Mike said, Freddy, I can't, I can't watch this shit anymore. He said, can you take me downstairs and we can look at pictures? I said, okay, Mike. You know, it was not, it just, it was Mike, Mike didn't want to, didn't want to watch him box. You know? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, legendary trainer, Hall of Famer, iconic, well-renowned trainer, in Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach runs the Wild Card Gym. He's a Hall of Fame iconic trainer. He was once a fighter. He does an interview uh, with KO Artist Sports. Shouts out to KO Artist Sports. And he reveals something I thought was hilarious and serious at the same time. And that is retired, legendary, former undisputed heavyweight world champion, Hall of Fame superstar, iconic boxer, Iron Mike Tyson, who finished his career 50 wins, 6 losses, no draw, 44 wins by way of knockout. Five times in his career, he was knocked out. He stood at 5 foot 10 with a 71 inch armage. Iron Mike Tyson weighed in on YouTube sensation turned professional boxer in Jake Paul, okay, and his brother Logan Paul entering the sport of boxing, okay. And initially, I believe Mike Tyson looked at this situation and he looked at it as exhibition entertainment. But when he realized that Jake Paul, who is now six wins, one loss, no draw, four wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, six foot one with a 76 inch arm reach, right? Jake Paul and his brother Logan Paul are taking it serious. Now, Logan Paul is more in the WWE world wrestling uh, entertainment. He's in that lane, but he was a professional boxer. He did have an exhibition with Floyd Mayweather, right? But that's the lane that Logan Paul is in. Jake Paul is taking the lane of actual boxing, right? And he recently took his first loss to a British superstar uh, prospect and the son and brother of a lineal family of boxing and under undefeated former unified two-time heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer Tyson and Gypsy King Fury, that being Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury is nine wins, no losses, no draw, four wins by way of knockout, 23 years of age, six feet tall with a 74-inch arm reach. Now, Jake Paul, he lost a split decision to Tommy Fury. But according to Freddie Roach, Jake Paul had paid Mike Tyson to come and watch him and Logan Paul spar at the world-renowned wildcard gym, obviously a ploy to be able to, you know, uh, garner attention, right? To say Mike Tyson is interested, uh, Mike Tyson is uh, supporting Jay Paul and, and Logan Paul. And so they paid him to come to the wildcard gym to watch them spar, right? And uh, Freddie Roach is saying that, you know, he had a hard time watching it and watching them, you know, uh, spar. And that, you know, Mike Tyson was watching it. And then he said Mike Tyson got fed up. And Mike Tyson was like, you know something? Uh, get me out of here. You know, uh, Freddie, I can't watch this anymore. You know, uh, let, uh, you know uh, let's go downstairs and take some pictures and focus on other things, right? And so Jake Paul got upset, obviously, because he paid Mike Tyson to be there, for one, okay? And for two... Uh, uh, you know, um, he felt disrespected and he felt slighted. And so Freddie Roach is saying he got mad at me and blamed me. It's just my gym. But obviously Freddie Roach is outspoken and Freddie Roach, he stated that, you know, uh, he couldn't watch this. So I'm sure he said it out loud. Right. And then Mike Tyson got, you know, it just gave him, it was a cosign. It gave Mike Tyson a, yeah, you know what? You're right. I can't sit and watch this anymore. Right. And so they left and they went downstairs. If you ever been to the wild card gym, uh, it's two floors, right? He has the first floor. It's one uh, area where it's kind of tucked away, right? And that's where Manny Pacquiao trains, uh, or, you know, big name fighters come to train because it's more secluded and he could he can close it off, right? He can make it private. Uh, then you go upstairs and it's more open. It's open to the public. 
Uh, people go upstairs and they work out, you know, but the one downstairs is where the celebrities go. You know, uh, it's where, you know, um, the celebrity uh, boxers go, you know, uh, big name boxers, they go downstairs. So he's saying that Mike Tyson said, hey, Freddie, let's go downstairs. Let's take some pictures. Let's kick it. And they left. And Jake Paul was upset. Now, why is this important? Because Mike Tyson is saying nobody wants to watch this. And Freddie Roach is saying it's hard to watch. But they did 775,000 pay-per-view buys, Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. What a combined record of Jake Paul came into the fight with six wins. Tommy Fury came into the fight with eight wins. Okay. That's 14 fights combined. Okay. 14 fights. Uh, Jake Paul has four knockouts. Tommy Fury has four knockouts. We're eight knockouts. Right. And uh, you had 700. Now, don't get me wrong. Jake Paul has a huge social media following. Right. Uh, he has a huge, you know, uh, YouTube following. Millions. OK, but nonetheless, you have a guy like Ryan Garcia, right? Ryan Garcia has millions of uh, uh, Instagram and social media followers. OK, and it doesn't translate. Right. And that speaks volumes because that lets you know that the sport of boxing, OK, uh, is missing something when you have, you know, um, YouTube sensation. And Tommy Fury is known to be a relative of the Fury family, who is a, you know, um, a blue blood family in, in, in combat sports over in the UK. OK, and then you have uh, Tommy Fury, more known for his, you know, uh, reality shows and dating shows and things of that nature, opposed to actual fighters in the sport of boxing. Javante Tank Davis is a superstar in the sport of boxing. His biggest pay-per-view to date is 275,000. That means Tommy Fury and Jake Paul did 500,000 more pay-per-view buys than Javante Tank Davis has ever done, right? 500,000 more. That speaks volumes, right? Because people like entertainment and the sport of boxing all too often, we're not getting the best fight and the best. And while you're not getting the best fight and the best, well, people lose interest. The hardcore boxing fans, they rather be pirates within the sport of boxing they don't want to pay for something they didn't ask for so the, they'll be a fan of the sport of boxing but they're not going to pay for it right they'll pirate they'll find a way to stream it they'll find a way to watch it for free because this is not what i'm asking for so if you're going to give me anything you know uh anyway because you know i'm in love with the sport well then okay no problem i'll watch it but i'm not paying for it and that's where the problem lies that's where we have to identify we need to have more of the best fighting the best to be able to have these uh, um, big uh, turnouts, right? And these successful events. Now, we get ready to get Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan King, Rob Ryan Garcia, April 22nd. Again, let's hope that Ryan Garcia, he hasn't achieved much within the sport of boxing, okay? He's never fought for a world title, nor has he ever won a world title, okay? But yet, you know, um, he's, this is considered a massive fight. OK, the hardcore Boston fans will not be fooled. You understand? They understand. Now, this is a, an, a, an event. So you're going to get many fighters, many, excuse me, many fight fans, hardcore fight fans that are looking at this fight and they're going to say, I'm going to stream it. I'm not going to pay that money for this fight. So hopefully it turns out and it be and it becomes, you know, a massive event. But uh, I thought this 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 uh, story was uh, pretty interesting. You know, um, that Jake Paul, obviously, we know they do stuff for, uh, you know, publicity and clout and be able to do it for promotion and, and acknowledgement and recognition. Right. Uh, so they paid Mike Tyson to come and watch their sparring session. And Mike Tyson said, I ain't coming to watch that. It's, it, when he got there, he got there and he realized it wasn't something he could do because, you know, you're talking about Freddie Roach and Mike Tyson. These dudes are. Uh, embedded into the sport of boxing. They take it serious. And then when you see a YouTuber, it's just hard for them to watch and take serious. But, uh, man, that's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. I'm gone. Peace.